Last time we caught up with Carly, she was with the Ladies Rifle Club in Gloucestershire on a course learning how to track injured deer. She is passionate about taking part in country sports. She's nuts about learning everything she can along the way. Now, as some women find, there are invisible hurdles that put off lots of female hunters before they get to experience the excitement of our fabulous shooting sports. There are the professional stalkers, hardened, rugged and windswept they may be, but some still find it difficult to believe that women are both capable of shooting straight and that women can feel uncomfortable about heading into the woods or hills with a stranger. Happily, not all guides are equal. Here on the Glen Etive estate near Fort William, Carly shot her first Scottish Red a few years ago with Mark Schoen, the head teacher, I mean head keeper. She has remained friends with Mark and promised to return to stalk Reds in the hills again. This year, she has foregone her usual annual sunshine holiday in order to continue her learning and to return to Mark's expert side. It's not just about the shooting for Carly. She wants to understand all the reasons that people hunt and stalk. She wants to gain enough experience to be able to make good decisions herself about which is the right deer to shoot. She does not want to be put in front of animals and told to pull the trigger. I think the whole thing's interesting. It's interesting to see what come down for the food and it's nice that they're away from people and... It's just good to learn, isn't it? Now for her exams. To introduce her to the local red deer population, Mark takes her on a trip around the lower parts of the estate. At this time of year, some of the deer come in from the hills and take advantage of the free food Mark spreads out for them, making sure his animals are in top condition ahead of the highland winter extremes. If they come to the feed, then they'll always sort of come back the following year. They just appear. And I mean, the first time we feed them, um, sort of like end of October, um, you just toot the horn and they'll just come running. And they haven't seen you for like eight months. They just look so amazing, don't they? It's funny every time I'm looking at one, I'm looking at the hair on it after that from the ladies rifle club the other, the other week. I'm like looking at where the hair is longer and where it's shorter and what colour it is and things like that. I suppose I wouldn't know that if I didn't go on that day either, so... Yeah, but it looks flat. There's no need for me to be puffing and panting like this. It's making my eyes water as the wind. Stalking in the Highlands is good aerobic stuff, as Carly finds out. You have to be tough and keen to push through this hard landscape. The clouds are getting closer and the deer are always one step ahead. Time just for a quick breather, a glass to the opposite side of the valley and a toffee crisp. I was literally just put that whole toffee crisp in my mouth. You did what, sorry? <laughs> Jason, I will smash off this thing later on. The wind is strong, cutting through the glen, and the weather looks like it's getting worse. Carly is keen to push on. Over the other side, an opportunity presents itself. On 
On further inspection, Mark explains why this calf is too good to take. Yeah, I would say it was a pretty good height in the calf. So, you know, it's not really what we're looking for. Um, there's certainly been worse about than that. The toffee crisp is a distant memory and the numb face, the burn in the legs and chest would test anyone's mettle. With no sign of letting up from Carly, Mark is confident that we have found our way around the small group to just the right position. We get to this pump, it's knocking another 20 yards off at light, you know. This is where the breathing has to calm, heart rate has to reduce, and all that Carly has learned needs to come back to her. The three deer are sheltering from the incoming rain and do not offer a good shot. So, exhausted, cold and wet, Carly must lay and wait. The young calf stands, turns, and Carly takes her shot. Right where his neck joins his body sort of thing. Yeah. Okay, on you go. Perfect, load up. Oh, she certainly made your weight, didn't she? I feel really weird now, I feel like all emotional. <laughs> well that's having the time, isn't it, I suppose. Perfect shot anyway, you're happy with the shot? Yeah. Feel much adrenaline? I do now, yeah. yeah I just asked you to aim a little bit further forward on him because of the wind. Um, because it's hard when you're lying here and it sort of seems pretty sheltered, but at that sort of range, there's a wee bit of wind with the 243, sort of a wee bit, a wee bit. So. Do you find that ladies in general shoot better? Yeah, shoot absolutely. Better. Do what you tell them. Exactly, yeah. Cheers. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no heroics like. <laughs> that makes me happy. And now begins another learning process. This is the first Perfect. time Carly has gralicked a deer and she is still keen to learn. It's so weird because it's so like warm and like it's nice, slimy. It? It's nice no, on a cold I don't day. Think I... Yeah, it's actually nice now because my hands are so cold, but I did not anticipate what that was going to feel like. And it's food now though, isn't it? It's, it's all hard to prepare it. Yeah. This bit's fine, that bit I don't like. <laughs> Oh, that was really good. That's my first grolic. Thank you. Well done. I think the thing is now as well, now you've grolicked one, and if you don't necessarily want to do it again, that's that's fine, you know? But I think it's, it's great that you've tried. And... I think um, it's harder than it looks like to feel all the bits and stuff, and I suppose because I've got long nails. I mean, I've been I've been stalking professionally for years, and I still have a lot of guests that I've been stalking with for 10, 15 years. That I've never grolicked one yet. So, really? Yeah. Oh, how cool. Oh, I'm so proud of myself. Yeah. Well done. Thanks. As some wise person once said, in school you're taught a lesson right. and then given a test. In life, you get a test that teaches you a lesson. Go on. <laughs> What's he stuck on? <laughs> I can't wait to be warm now though, that's literally all I can think of right this minute. <laughs>